And so China is already rejecting any demands for more investigation, but that does not mean that the scrutiny has stopped. The latest to demand answers from China is a man who many say has been a friend of China. America's top infectious disease expert, Dr. Anthony Fauci, he wants Beijing to share medical records of researchers at the Wuhan laboratory and the mine workers. Basically, a total of nine people who fell ill with symptoms consistent with the Wuhan virus. Dr. Fauci wants to see their medical records. And this is interesting because in the, in the recent weeks, it's Dr. Fauci himself who's been in the dock. He was hit by a barrage of accusations, mostly from members of the Republican Party. He was slammed for playing down the lab leak theory. He was interrogated for funding research at the Wuhan laboratory. So which side is Fauci on? What are his connections with the Wuhan lab and why has he been called a friend of China? Our next report tries to join the dots. He has been the face of America's pandemic response, a voice of reason during the chaos of the Trump administration. But in recent weeks, Anthony Fauci has faced a host of accusations. Lawmakers have implied that Fauci funded risky research at the Wuhan lab. Dr. Fauci, do you still support funding of the NIH funding of the lab in Wuhan? Senator Paul, with all due respect, you are enti entirely and completely incorrect. Fauci's own emails don't help his case. Between March and April in 2020, Fauci exchanged several emails with experts on the issue of origins. When one expert asked if the virus was released from a lab in Wuhan, Fauci shared the email with a colleague, asking them to handle it. Fauci even got a thank you note for publicly standing up to support the natural origins of the virus. Fauci exchanged emails with a top Chinese virologist too. When George Gao wrote to Fauci to check up on him, Fauci replied, we'll get through this together. He has also been linked to the controversial Wuhan lab and faced questions on why America funded research at this laboratory in China. So does Fauci really have any links to the Wuhan lab? Anthony Fauci heads America's National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases. It is one of the 27 institutes and centers that makes up America's National Institute of Health. It's the primary agency of the U.S. government for public health research. It was the NIH, and not Fauci in particular, who gave funding to the Wuhan lab. Xi Zhengli, famously known as China's Batwoman, claims she got more than $600,000 from the NIH. But the NIH wasn't the only American agency funding her. The U.S. Agency for International Development, or USAID, also gave more than $500,000 in funding to Xi. A large part of these funds actually came from the EcoHealth Alliance that had allocated millions of dollars in grants to researchers around the world. So yes, America was funding research at the Wuhan lab. But did the money go towards risky research? Fauci denies this claim. We have not funded gain-of-function research on this virus in the Wuhan Institute of Virology, you're, no matter how many times words, you're you say words, it, it, there it was didn't research. Now the U.S. president himself has ordered a probe into the origins of the virus. So Fauci has asked China to come clean. He had called on Beijing to release the medical records of nine people. Who are they? Three of them are researchers from the Wuhan lab. Reports say they fell sick in November 2019 and were taken to a hospital. The other six are minors. They had fallen ill after a visit to a bat cave in 2012. They developed symptoms consistent with the Wuhan virus. In fact, three minors had died due to the illness. Fauci wants information on them. He says researchers should stay open-minded about the lab leak theory. No, I'm not convinced. Uh, about that. I think that we should continue to investigate what went on in China until we find out to the best of our ability exactly what happened. Certainly, the people who've investigated say that it likely was the emergence from an animal reservoir that then infected individuals, but it could have been something else, and we need to find that out. Is, that is he speaking on the basis of more evidence, or is this a politically convenient shift of tone? Whatever the case, Fauci has joined a growing list of experts and scientists who are warming up to the possibility of a lab leak and not shy of saying it out loud. Bureau Report, Vion, World is One.
even amid increased Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.